My goodness, with the level of progress going on here at the St. Balogu Stadium, the next generation before me will be proud to be a sportsman. You know, during our time, imagine me telling my dad, Daddy, I want to become a footballer <laughs> in Nigeria. I don't know, like, you, you guys know, you, 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 know, you know what's up now. You know how they will react. But with what is going on here, the next generation can bully tell their father that, Dad, I want to be a footballer. I will say, go boy, because there's a platform for you. This is the platform the government are building for us. Guys, I'm super excited, guys. Can you imagine? Ah, I don't know yet before now, but with what I'm seeing here, the future is bright for sportsmen here in Lagos. The Slim Balogu Stadium, through Leri, Lagos, Nigeria, is currently under rehabilitation by the Lagos State Government. As a citizen of Nigeria, I'm here to check it out. I'll also show you, my audience, the current situation of this iconic structure. The construction of the stadium started in 1984 under the military regime but was completed in 2007. It took 23 years to complete the stadium with a total cost of 1.3 billion naira then. Since 2007, this stadium has hosted several international and local events. The question now is, if this stadium has hosted several events, why rehabilitation now after a few years? I will leave the others in the house to answer that in the comment section. Because 2007, I was still very much young to understand a thing. So, let us in the house. The microphone is in your court. Please use it wisely on the comment section. If this current Lagos State Government administration, led by Governor Babajide Sonwolu, can rehabilitate this stadium to its full potential, then the legacy will be transferred to my generation to ensure the next generation tell a better story about the stadium. Yeah. Think then or have you see but for now this is my observation at the stadium during my visit the stadium is already roofed as you can see this is the scenery here the stadium is already coming out yeah guys this is the third time i'm coming to the stadium let me explain the first time i came here i was directed to meet somebody who gave me permission to film so I waited for, for the person for almost three hours, two four hours. It was already getting late. I have to go home. So the second time I came, I timed, they said I should come earlier. They said I should come early. So I came very, very early. The person wasn't around. I have to wait. So I waited for a few hours. Then the person came. I explained myself that this is who I, this, this is who I am. This is what I intend to do. But they said, no, I have to go to Alausa to get permission. So it's all fine. So guys, this is the third time I'm coming here now and I will tell you the rest of the story as I continue on the video. So this is the stadium, as you can see, it's already the roof. The stadium is, in fact, it's, it's alive now. The same Balogo Stadium is coming to life. In fact, it's alive, yeah. What do you see? Personally, when I came here, I was blown away, guys. Can you imagine? I was blown away, I was blown away. Uh, the government are really trying. The road work is actually, like, can't you see? From this side, like this, everything is covered up. Covered up, as you can see. Even there, there are men at work. They are currently working on, on that place. I don't know if you can see them. There are, there, are, there are men at work here. Yeah, they are currently working here right now, like this. So, just many a few coach to cover up the whole stadium. Then the roof. Basically, they will not face these chairs. No? Most of the chairs are already out already, as you can see. They will start facing the chairs. Uh, maybe get new ones. I don't know. But whichever way is. I hope to keep you informed as as we go on. So basically, I can't go around and be creative with my work because if they catch me, I don't know that I go talk. Yeah, so that's how difficult it is to film these stories, tell you guys what we go through. Personally, I I, I want to be very creative with this work, show you guys what is happening because I'm so excited. But I can't show myself. I have to come up here. See, I have to come up here and hide and make this video. You get so it's actually it's crazy. They say if they catch me making videos, they, they carry me hand over to police, and you know what that means. So I hope to you know, tell the story better some other time when I have stronger strengths. Yeah, that's why that's why you should subscribe so they will get to know me. At least when I come, they say, I know you, I know you, I know you. They will allow me to film. Why? I did be strict with all these things. The reason is that many 
content creators, many people who make video are not making it for the good purpose are like me. They're being strict for security reasons, so I don't blame them, but please just subscribe so we grow bigger and get more strength and create more awareness. So whenever we come, guys, see, we pass through laws just to tell stories on what's happening here. Most times we cannot tell proper stories, not because we can't, but the restriction is just too much. Can you imagine coming here three times now? Just, just imagine the strength. Imagine everything. Well, hey, I come to serve Nigeria with love and strength, and I will never. I will, I will not relent. So no, no, nothing is discouraging me. I just want you guys to understand what we go through to make videos like this. I hope you guys appreciate what we are doing. But this is it. I'm so impressed, guys. Like. Why I wanted to go through the management is so that I can get proper information on what is going on here and inform you better. But hey, I believe you all want to see what is going on on the stadium. Yes, based on observation, this is what I saw. I believe you are seeing what I'm seeing too. The stadium is already covered. Yes, I'm with it myself and I can see, yes, that's serious work going on here. Maybe the fact that I have come to this place for like three times now, each time I visit, there's a high level of progress on the project meaning that the government are really committed to see this project come to light and kudos to them i'm so impressed with them hope to work with them in the future to inform you better and make proper documentary i'll upload them and i'll show you our viewers that our government are truly committed towards bringing in nigeria to other step You see why I said the future of sportmen in Nigeria is getting brighter? Because with this infrastructure development getting attention by our government, it is obvious that the greater Nigeria and the better Lagos is possible. And I applaud the government and plead with them to please continue with this project because it is going to transform a lot of life. Let me make this shocking revelation here. Can you believe this is my first time being in the pitch live? All I've seen pitch was in TV, but this is my first time stepping into a football pitch. The first time I went to a stadium was here in Lagos when I visited the National Stadium, but I wasn't able to assess the pitch. But this is my first time being in a pitch. Not because I don't want to, but growing up, not all of us had access to facilities like this one. Look at these kids playing ball at the stadium. They have access to it. And to them, yeah, it's a normal thing. Until watching, maybe like, ah, a normal thing to you too. But guys, this can trans transform life because in the mind of these kids, they're not playing ball. They are also dreaming to play at a bigger, a better and a suitable football pitch. Your commitment to this project will bring their dream to reality. Please like this video to encourage the algorithm to spread the video. You might never know who is watching. And please subscribe. It's important too. Till I come your way again, I remain your boy, OZ. Follow the one showing this on your screen.